everybody. You know, just the sight of a cockroach running across the floor is enough to make most people's skin crawl, except for my next guest. Uh, she's a bug-loving little girl who has, uh, was teased by her peers for her insect fascination, but after this hashtag, bugs are for girls, went viral, she became one of the coolest girls in school. <laughs> so right now, here, with her very own bug show and tell, please welcome nine-year-old Sophia. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Hi. How are you? Where are you from, darling? Uh, Canada. Canada? Yeah, it took a while to get here. Took a while to get here? Yeah. What, uh... <laughs> so, Sophia, what made you interested in bugs? Well, once, uh, well, I, when I was three, I went to a butterfly conservatory, which is a zoo, but only for butterflies. And, uh, as soon as I walked in, a blue butterfly landed on my shoulder and it wouldn't get off. And ever since then, I fell in love with insects. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, let me ask you something. Why do you think insects are scary to some people? Some insects, like a tarantula, look scary, but some tarantulas won't hurt you. Um, some won't hurt you. Yeah, some. And some bugs you just don't want to hold because they have territorial offense, which means they'll bite you, sting you, pinch you. Great, yeah, well. <laughs> So you're gonna teach us about some bugs today? Yeah. That's pretty much why I ain't in the bugs, I think. So go ahead, what's the, with the first bug, what is it? The first bug is a stick bug. The stick bug is called a stick bug because it looks just like a stick. And the stick bug, the stick bug can reproduce its own eggs, but only the female can reproduce its own eggs without a male. So basically, it can reproduce its own eggs, but it will only make female eggs. But when it's reproducing eggs with a male, it'll make male and female eggs. And uh, it's nocturnal, which means it only it's only awake at night and it's motionless at in the daytime. Yeah. So does that ever come out the cage? Do you? Uh, yeah. You know, I don't. That's... Come here, come on. Come on, bud. This is the yeah, stick Do you bug. have a name for it? Um, oh, I didn't name it, but I'm, I'm gonna call it Sticky. Sticky? Yeah, Sticky. Okay. Yeah. Wanna go in? Yeah. Does it have one of those defense mechanisms no. you were talking no, about? No, this one doesn't bite. All of these bugs don't bite. Oh, no bite or nothing? No, don't they don't sting. fly, they don't bite, they're yeah. only calm. Good. Well, what, let's go on to the next one. This is a, uh, a question mark roach. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, in the hood, it'd just be a roach. It, it, <laughs> won't be no question mark, I'll tell you right now. It, what? It's called the question mark roach because it has little white dots that look uh, just like question marks. And the male and female yeah, look. They ain't gonna be handling the roach, I can tell you that right now. The male and female look exactly I'm scratching alike. Scratching already. Like the a, damn roach the out. male and female look exactly alike. This little guy lives in India and he's homeless. He doesn't fly, and right now he's just going really quick. So yeah, yeah you just do that. I'll go back in your cage? Yeah, let's go back in your cage. Yeah. yeah. I'll, go, I'll go back in. Go back in. Okay, you don't want to go back in. I need a little... Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, and, oh, and uh, all of these bugs can climb on the glass. What kind of bugs can <laughs> climb on the glass? <laughs> bugs that have, like, like uh, their feet are very grippy, like uh, flies, like, can hang upside down, so that's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roach can't get loose in here. Uh, hey, these bugs is busy. This is called the Blue Death Fainting Beetle. Blue Death? Yeah. Like death? Yeah. So why we got this out here? <laughs> we got a bug out here called Blue Death. And the reason they're called Blue Death uh, Fainting Beetles is because they're blue because of the wax that they create for the heat because they live in the desert, so they have to have uh, something to protect them from all the heat. 
and it's called the Fainting Beetle because they play dead. They pretend they're dead. That's why it's called the Blue Dead Death. Yeah, they, they jump yeah. off your hand. No, they don't kill you. Oh, well, they jump off their hands. No, they, they don't jump. Okay, well, they'll be dead, though. I'm just telling you. Yeah, and uh, the Blue Death Fainting Beetle is uh, the very calm, and I find that they look like two walking blueberries. They look, they look like two walking blueberries. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. They really do. That's really nice. Sophia, about how many bugs do you know about? Um, well, I know about probably over 100, but there are over like trillions and billions of bugs in the world. Yeah. Your bugs are cute, but they're not as cute as you though, Sophia. Thanks. They're just not as cute as you. Good job today. Come back and bring some more bugs with you next time. Okay. Hey, darling, let's go. We'll be right back. Stay right there, wave at the people. You like that video? You want more? Well, you're in luck because I got more. Press that subscribe button or click on this list and you can see all the great Steve Harvey YouTube videos that you want. You ain't doing nothing right now. Just do me a favor, just press the damn button.